Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Go Sweden. Yes, today I just decided to start the video here again on my way home after work on the bridge. Unfortunately, no train. Also this morning there was no crazy electricity noise as in the last video. So it was a bit warmer. It is also raining right now and there was actually a bit snow, but as you can see, nothing yeah stayed on the ground we still have some nasty ice parts like this that want to break your legs or your shoulders or whatever when you make one stupid step um yeah but today well uh <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit weird now when i talk about it but we will see so i am actually making progress with um, connecting with the one guy from work um, where I already talked about that in a, I don't know, like two weeks ago. So, and the weird thing is, he knows about this channel. So if, if you're watching this video, hey. <laughs> so yes, um, but he seems like a really nice guy. So it would just be, uh, yeah, great in my opinion if, yeah, if there would be like the opportunity to just do stuff outside of work, May it be like, go to a movie. And just like that, we are back here on the couch. Well, 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 maybe I should have, yeah, emptied out my phone and not let it run a full storage when you're recording a video. Well, I was just continuing to basically give examples what I would be happy to, yeah, just do outside of work, you know, like normal things. I don't know, maybe get to know some places actually around Earnshots Week or in Earnshots Week. But yeah, so that is one of the things that I wanted to talk about today. The other things <laughs> were actually two bad things. Or oh, one bad thing and one test engineering solution, which I don't really believe in yet because I was not the person that made this solution. You will see. Um, but first, the bad thing. Well, this morning, yeah, I was usually, as always, going to work and I always have a water bottle with me just because I think, like, first of all, when something would happen on the way to work, you have some water, same thing on the way back. And also, for example, maybe randomly, like, plans change and you are not going straight home after work, you're going, I don't know, somewhere into town you have at least half a liter of water with you. So it's a good thing. Unfortunately, when I like went into work and I was like at my locker, I always take a short sip to just like refresh myself. And I did not really put the cap on the bottle. Like it is like a big cap. I Unfortunately, I don't have the bottle right here and I'm too lazy actually to grab it. But I screwed it on like kind of in a weird position and I threw the bottle back in. Yes. And well, during lunch, we actually get, um, went out again to eat. This time I, got, um, I ordered chicken skew, stew, stew, sorry. And it, I always thought it is some kind of soup, but it is just an amazing sauce with chicken. Really tasty. Awesome. But even then I did not notice, but I think you can already guess, um, when I then was yeah, basically planning on going home after work, so after four, I was opening my locker and I was like, why is it wet in here? My shoes ha must have been really wet this morning. Until I realized it's not the shoes, it's the water bottle that was basically open and just fully emptied itself in my bag so it is actually not bad because it's just water so but still of course like a wet bag and now my locker is wet but i just thought like i'm not doing that today so we will see tomorrow morning it's probably still wet in the locker we will see how that goes oh my god but yeah, well, it is what it is. And um, the only kind of bad thing is I always have some type of painkillers with me just as with the water 
in case if I get stuck somewhere and I have like strong angle pa ankle pain that I'm capable of making it home somehow. And as I don't use the whole pill from the painkillers, I split them in half and the other half is still in there. But of course, like the part where you usually just push it out was open and it got wet. So I don't know how wet it really got inside, but I have not checked it. So I don't know if it's good or not, but we will see. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing, now let's talk about uh, test engineering at its finest. Oh my God, this is going to be so stupid. <laughs> I really don't think this is going to work. But, oh, this is, is it still wet? Yes, of course, it is also wet because it was in my bag. Um, but this right here are basically the spikes that I'm using right now to put on my shoes. And last Friday, I don't really know how, but I think it was just too much walking it ripped apart like i cannot show you the ripped apart thing right now but so basically this is how it's supposed to look like right here and this thing ripped like there was a rip here and i was thinking okay how can you fix that because i have like i like to fix things first of all this is not even mine like i my the um, landlord gave it to me so i will definitely have to buy new things for her but as the winter is basically close to finished i hope next next winter um and i was thinking like okay how can i fix it that i might still be able to use it at least for this winter and i was like it is rubber so i have never yeah done anything with rubber i don't know if you can glue it together with a special glue if you can like heat it up make it liquidy and then push it together so i was yeah basically just thinking like okay if there might be time like during work where i really have to wait on something i could just do that and there was time and i was yeah doing this and i was showing my mentor about it and he just said yeah just staple it and i was like you got to be kidding me like staple it it's definitely not going to work well we will see if it works but now it looks like this <laughs> both sides stapled i don't know it's uh, it says focusing failed but yeah so it is still kind of ripped i don't know if you can see it is really dark of course but we will see uh, we will see sorry <laughs> now i switched to swedish um yes oh my god that's 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 a real engineering thing right here stapling things together <laughs> uh yeah but i will definitely keep you updated with that um yeah and besides this i was actually already talking to a friend of mine a few hours maybe an hour ago like after work because um i always sent him long audio messages on whatsapp and he sometimes gets, well, I don't want to say annoyed, but I think he just thinks like, why don't you just call when you make such long messages? And I think like, yeah, but it's convenient for me to just create like a podcast like I do with you guys. I'm just talking and this is the same with him. And then audio messages get longer and longer because I don't know where to stop. It's just me. And yeah, so we talked and basically he just made his answer live on uh, from the audio message that i sent him yeah and i also plan on or not plan on it is scheduled in oh in 30 minutes that i have a meeting with my friends to plan the iceland trip and hopefully finish everything so we have two airbnbs that we have um, are deciding on the plane tickets are not bought yet but also planned but i i still don't know like for me actually i don't know if i will be going to christmas um like at home that was no english i don't know if i'm planning on going to christmas because it seems very inconvenient for me to go to germany fly from germany to iceland and then fly back to either sweden or back to germany and then from germany back to sweden 
because I think I would take more things to Germany over Christmas than to Sweden. <sighs> and also, if, and I don't, and I really say not if, let's say when, when I will be getting a car before Christmas and I really, I need one. Like, I have said it so many times in the last videos that I don't think this is something that is, yeah, avoidable. But if I have a car, you know, like, it would not make any sense to get the car stuck in Germany. Like, drive with the car to Germany, fly then to Iceland, then fly back to Germany and drive the car back to Sweden. Sounds super inconvenient. So I just think, like, have the car in Sweden, fly from Sweden to Iceland and fly back from Iceland to Sweden because I live here. Maybe my family is coming to visit me over Christmas. We will see what happens. But seems like a seems like a challenge. I, I challenged them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's it for today. I have to make food now because I'm actually running out of time. And we will see each other in tomorrow's video. Bye bye.